But let's take a bit from Garissa and look at news making headlines elsewhere. It started out as a peaceful demonstration over the shooting of two youth while they were praying at Mosiro location, and that's along the narrow Kajiado common border. It soon, however, turned ugly when locals stormed an AP camp and demolished iron sheet structures. Armed police officers took to their heels as residents armed with rungus and simis stormed the station, baying for the blood of six KWS rangers said to be behind the shooting of the duo during Easter Eve. Locals said two teenagers, 15-year-old Dennis Taki and his 16-year-old friend Mpititi Lenkule, were on a two-day prayer and fasting session when they were killed. They deny that the Form 2 students were unarmed, contrary to claims by the Kenya Wildlife Service officers. Contacted for comment, Naro KWS Warden William Sang declined to comment, saying the incident occurred in Kajiado and not Naro, which is his area of jurisdiction. Kulikuwa na mkutano ya waimbaji ambayo yuko pale Olosokon kwa sababu ni muimbaji. Wanaenda kuombea hiyo mkutano ndio wapate Jumaa wakuje waende hiyo mkutano. Sanga watu kama waimbaji, kama waimbaji. Hapa kwetu ni pak ama ni wapi? Kwa sababu la sisi kama Wakristo tuko masiku mingi tutaenda kuomba milimani. Tupate kibali. Sasa tumeshangaa tuonde tena wapi kwa sababu tunaenda kama hapa kwetu amekuwa park we cannot allow anything and we will do anything possible to a, to access this culprit to go to court kama mtu alikuwa anashuka wa vijana ni ni wawindaji wa wanyama pori hapo mahali wameuawa ni mahali ambao wangeweza kuwa nafa bila kuwaua na hata hivyo hata wawindaji wa wanyama wa pori Hakuna ruhusa ya kuwaua kama wanaweza kukamatwa.